It's Sam Poe on the stand side of Fohey at the second match. Fohey lands in the lead by Havilek and goes on from Sam Poe. Hello and welcome to the latest episode of We're Going Chasing. Uh, we're almost at the end of our Cheltenham snappy previews. We're going to look at the Mayor's Novice Hurdle today. Um, and we get straight into it there, Killian. So we've got Lu- Lucia at the top of the market there for Nicky Henderson at 7-4. to four. Are you for or against? Uh, against her at that price. Um, see a lot of... Like, I know it's... It's a weird race, the Mayor's Novice. Like, I've seen a lot of short price horses bomb and then some have hosed up then so I don't know it's at the price is like she's she's ran twice over hurdles she's been impressive twice in two listed races um like but I, I know she's she's won she's won on the bridle basically both days but I'd, I question the horses she's beaten in behind I think the Irish novices are, are a good bit better than, than the English ones um so I just question that and that reason I'd be against her Okay, yeah, okay, and then further down the field, I suppose their your second favorite, and it's probably the the mare that I like in the race is Ashro Diamond. Um, you know she's some very nice form there, tying in with Marie National, only beating four lengths. Um, there in obviously the Royal Band, nine lengths off. Uh, Facile Vega then at Christmas, uh, followed by uh, obviously um getting a getting a nice win then in a graded race. Um, beating Jatara by a length. Um, I think at this level, like in the mayor's novice, it's always quite a weak race. There could be one or one, possibly maybe two, um, ones that are probably well above, uh, average in it, and and they could go and win it by ten, fifteen, twenty lengths. And if somebody is to do that, I nearly fancy Asher or Diamond, um, above Lucia. Yeah, I, she's she's probably the one I like as well in the race. Um. I suppose you you look at her 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 runs there even in bumpers she won, she won the the grade two for mares in in entry at the end of last season, um so she's she's high class enough um, over hurdles then like she's she's ran in two grade ones um thought she ran a, a really good race in the the Royal Bond behind Marine National and Irish Point, um she was in front of Champ Kylie that day who's a who's one of the fancied horses in the Ballymore um. <clears throat> I know it's a different trip, but then at Christmas, I actually backed her at Christmas against Facile Vega. Um, she she went off second favorite that day. She went off shorter than Illita Tomps. Uh, she finished nine lengths back and third. She wasn't really ever put into the race. To be honest, I thought that, like it was it was a fairly fairly soft ride from Patrick, and she just passed beaten horses and sort of kept kept on a bit. Um, she went up and tripped then to the the Solarina and in Fairy House and she beat Chitari as you said like and that was on race and post race and her best performance Um, the same with with Lucia she's to give away five pounds uh, to to two Willie's other ones night and day and a lot of joy Um, so that that's and on those on, on those other like Willie like often has, has quite a big hand in this race probably doesn't have as many runners maybe um in it certainly towards the the top end of the market as he usually would. It's just those three really. Um between night and day and a lot of joy, would you have a strong opinion on either of them? Obviously, as you said, getting five pounds from from the top two. Yeah, it won't be enough. Um I'd okay. say like uh, Lot of Joy definitely wants further. Um like she, she was beaten half length by by Deep Cave in the uh, in a maiden hurdle at Christmas. Deep Cave was four four and three quarter lengths behind Goodland, then in a grade one. Um so like she, I think she she's going to want further. Like she was she, she was third in, in the Irish Cesar, which um she, she came she came sixth in a in a two mile or fourth in a two mile handicap in Galway. Um and then like she was beaten first time up over hurdles and then she'd beaten the second day. So she eventually won at a very short price. Um in a mare's maiden, beaten beaten some very limited horses there. So, like I I I wouldn't like to say that she she's an eight to one chance there. Like Jesus, I I don't know, I I wouldn't be far there yeah. now really. And uh, night and day, then 
Like was it, I think it was a big talk horse around the Cheltenham preview nights last year. Ruby, I think, put her up for the mayor's hurdle last year. She'd never ran for Willie. Um and then she actually didn't go, but she went to to the grade one in Ferry House and she was beaten, beaten ninety six lengths ninth by Brandy Love. So um they left her off then and she came back then uh, January and, and won a maiden hurdle in Clamel by twenty two lengths for mayors. Uh like again, nothing in behind that. That's that was even trying. I'd say to get nearer. She she's a good rating that day now, but um, I suppose she she she'd be a bit of a danger. But I I like Magical Zoe, a bit further down. Yeah, that was yeah. They were the next two I was going to say, Magical Zoe and and Princess Zoe as well. The two Zoes. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Magical Zoe. They are unbeaten. Um. In in three starts under rules, and Princess Zoe then. Um, obviously dead heated, um, in her first and, and only race, um, over hurdles, but extremely high class on the flat. Uh, probably strange to see a horse, you know, running like usually these flat horses they step up and trip over hurdles, yeah. <laughs> Whereas Magical Zoe is, is nearly going back in trip, um, you know, yeah. having run over two and a half miles there, um, at Hascot and over at Longchamp as well. Um, do you see either of them getting involved? Uh, I don't see Princess Zoe really. Um, like she obviously is very high class and everything on the flat, but like she's she's a two and a half miler on the flat, really. Like that's her trip. Um, and I just think that if 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 they'd have been able to get her out sooner and she'd maybe two three runs in her, she'd probably be going to the Bartlett as opposed to this, uh, because she probably wants three miles over hurdles to be honest, uh, as opposed to two, but. Yeah, look, she could she could be handy. She she she, she, she if they if they do go a good gallop, she she'd be staying on anyway. Um, like she needs to jump a good bit better than she did the first day, but I'm sure she sure she will. Magical Zoe, I was very impressed with her in Down Royal. Now the the break is a bit of a a bit of a concern. Um, I think like she she beat Nikini there by a length of the Model Kingdom three three and a half lengths back in third. The Model Kingdom's a decent yardstick. Like she's she's a good horse. And then you look down a bit further, like Rioga Choice ran really well the last day um in, in Punchestown in a in a listed race um up in trip. And then you're looking down a bit further, Say V won a listed race, Liberty Dance won a listed race. So like there there's some there's some good horses down there. Um and like she she came from off the pace and 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 got up to win, so like she sh- showed a nice bit of turn of foot there too. Um, I think she's she's only had two starts over hurdles, and and the break is a bit of a worry. But as around ten to one, she, she'd be she she'd be a nice each way bet. And look, if there was ever a more uh, a winner you'd like to see win the race, you'd you'd have it as 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 magical Zoe here, uh, for Henry. Yeah. You 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 would indeed, uh, you would indeed, and just going back to Princess Zoe, she does have a uh, have an entry in the Albert Bartlett. Do you think um there's a, a possibility that Tony Mullins could could go that route with her? Uh, I don't I don't think so. Off one run, um, I think he said he's going to go. Okay, to yeah. I think yeah. Unless okay, yeah. Now, I'm just after I'm just after giving it a search there on Twitter as we're talking. I see uh, the road to Cheltenham had a tweet up there at the end of January. Uh, with a quote on it from Tony Mullins saying we're aiming her at the mayor's novice hurdle, but I put her in the Albert Bartlett as well. Um, I but interesting that they haven't closed off. If if it came up, if it came up, good ground on the Thursday, or if it was going to be good ground the Thursday, would he run on Friday instead? Maybe, uh, that'd be the only way I'd say, because she does, she does, she did want to go cut in the ground in the flat. So, uh, maybe if it came up good ground Thursday, he might run on Friday. But I think the plan is to go to It'd the hardly the be a novice. huge difference. No, but just the further, huge further distance, distance like, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The far, yeah, the distance. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, Killian, we won't um, we won't spend much longer there on that race. Um, you know, it's it's not the biggest race of the week by any by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and you know, it's it's quite wide open too. Something could come in there at at fifty to one. But look, we'll have a closer look at it. I suppose next week when we're going through um our day by day, we're going yeah. to have a few uh, special guests on previewing. Um, the race is with us as well so we'll we'll have a better look at it then but for the time being I'm I'm happy enough to go with Ashro Diamond I think the yeah. form um, is in the book there Lucia big danger you'd be wondering what she's beat though um, I'm happy enough to go with Ashro Diamond I go with Magic Zoe Vauban fights more now okay. and kicks Good away man. thanks very and much up the hill. 
and wins the JCB Drive Hurdle. Round the home turn, Davy Russell decides to send, presenting Percy on now. It's a beautiful straight 11 victories for Honeysuckle. She is the winner of the Unibet Champion Hurdle. Heaven help us, runs riot to win the Coral Cup. Manella Indo is all out, flat out, but he wins the Gold Cup.